Okay. Hey guys, uh, I'm here recording another video, uh, and they came out with the 1.0 version for Empires of the Undergrowth. So I will be playing that today. I will be starting afresh. Okay, yeah, that's the old free play. Uh, name. Let's see. I don't know, just, um, yeah, 1.0. Because why not? There we go. 1.0, because why not? Um, uh, obviously we're going to be blue. Cool art. If you've noticed that. Yeah, back when we played it last time, even though it seemed fairly well developed, it actually was only in um, Early Access. Ah, oh, I see the queen is taking well to her new home. It's, it's fascinating. She has already started to spawn. Incredible, really, that we found... What do we got? Hope y'all are cool with that. Uh, I think they have an arachnophobia mode. I don't have a problem with it. Uh, but it gives them a hat, and I want to turn it up just a little bit so they have a hat. That should give the spiders a hat, I believe. I saw it on a TikTok, so I'm not sure. Right Hopefully, we come across oh, some spiders. That we can expect to see into species called morphism. We should be patient Reflection. and allow the colony to grow first. I've placed food nearby. Then we'll, we'll introduce the Formica Fusca. I guess I can do it on medium. Observe the reaction. Actually. Excellent. Keep me updated on their progress. Yeah, I'm gonna go with medium. Or am I? Yeah, I'm gonna go with medium. Just to start, I'll leave it on medium. If I come back to it, and if I decide it's too easy, I might try This Formica Fusca Shut queen up. has set up home beneath a rotting log. She is fat and vulnerable. That's a bit rude, the first don't you think? will need to move quickly if the colony is to survive. And just straight up Their priority the now is to find like, food, <laughs> and there is plenty around. But it's there are other fit, hungry really, creatures down you here. Think? You know what? I'm gonna turn you down. The work. Yeah, yeah. Screw you. We'll turn it down a little. It's just a little loud. This will need to be vigilant. How dare you call me fat as soon as I open the thing. I'm playing your game. You shouldn't be insulting me immediately unless that's the whole thing about the game. Which would be an interesting in interesting thing just to start your game off with. Uh, anyways. One these here. The ants have encountered a pocket of woodworm. These defenseless weevil larvae will make an excellent meal for the colony. They will be butchered and carried off for processing. Yeah, I can see that. They are very much being butchered. Yep, they are gone. Just disappeared. Not existing anymore. Or ever again. Put these down. Yeah, we're just going to be starting off with this, of course, taking it easy. I'm not sure entirely what they added. Uh, I don't remember. I know that I knew about the arachnophobia mode. I saw a TikTok about it. Be cool if you ask me. But I'm not sure what else they added. I think there's another tier after the fire ants. Which I don't remember if I did, ever did videos on the fire ants. Because that was... I don't think I did. I don't recall doing that anyways. But it could have happened. You never know. Until yeah, until you um, confirm, then you do know, because that's just kind of how that works. Okay, what are we looking at? Uh, yeah, Let's head over here. Got two, probably. What are they called? I can't remember. It's like uh, Devil's Coach or Speed Devils, right? Okay, that thing that was happening earlier from. Clone drone in the danger zone, where my inputs are laggy, is happening here as well. Because if I move around with the arrow keys, it's, it's a little weird. I move around like this. It's something with the arrow keys, though. Maybe they're sticky? They don't feel sticky, though. A odd. Yeah, I'm gonna go murder these real quick, just, you know, because I feel like it. Why not? The workers have uncovered carnivorous larvae of Ochipus lands. The Devil's Coach Horse. They are born ready for combat. 
with powerful oh, slicing what? mandibles for chopping up their prey. Well, they're a little bit they're too still dense small, to however, say anything. And must that. undergo a final occupation before six. their armor they're is fully they're developed. They're worth 15 food. If the ants are fast, nah. they should be able to overwhelm good these critters. Of food too. Hopefully the big ones are still worth the If the ants are disturbed the adult of these larvae, Wah -wah. the outcome for the colony may not have been so fortunate. They must expand with caution. No, I don't. I know exactly where everything is. Like, right here? Boom, two adults. I don't know how I just know this, other than, like, playing it. I don't know how I know that there are enemies before I go there, but, you know, I just kind of do. I'm just big brain, you know. This is big brain time. Quote by Markiplier. Anyways, just gonna get some food storage, because... Well, these things are actually worth quite a bit. Those little worms. I could have sworn these were like actual. The colony monsters. is starving. There's Shut not up. enough food to feed. Hey, look at that! Food. That's real convenient food right there. Hmm. Weird. This guy that keeps talking, you know, I don't know what his deal is or how he's seeing this. Actually, if we're underground, it's said we're in a rotting log. I'm pretty sure. I don't know how he's seeing us doing this. If he, if we are. That's a little weird, but anyway. Yeah, I kind of just want to make him shut up sometimes. I, I'm leaving it on, on for you guys so y'all kind of know what's going on. But, like, I, I'd kind of prefer to just make him, you know, disappear. Just reduce him to atoms, you know. There are intruders oh, in no. the nest. Oh no, intruders in the nest. Not like I was already trying to get the intruders out of their little hole. Really should have done this on hard. This is too easy, man. Come on. Come oh, on, man. That's too easy. I'm gonna go murder these things immediately then. It's a little slow pace for my liking, so I'm just gonna kind of crack open everything I physically can right now. Get up here. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Wah, wah. Oh no, they actually don't go for the larvae, so you're just straight up lying to me, sir. Like, straight up. They never go for the larvae, they just run straight at the queen if there's nothing else in their way. So, he's just straight up lying in that case. And last I checked, this... You know, this one, who happens to be quite Predators a bit bigger than these the ones. The larvae you know, not a larvae. There's a couple of them around her, but you know. Pop these open. Yeah. And then I'll crack that open. Pretty sure you can sneak around these if you try hard enough, but I'm not going to care enough to try that. These wood lice will make a significant addition to the colony's Tasty larders, but they are clinging lice. tightly to the ground. Sounds so it's going to take uh, some effort to destroy right. them. Get a couple of these anyways. Uh, I need a little more food storage. Just kind of fill this in. Not there. Yeah, that works. I have, like, 200 and something. I'll be fine. Uh, me. I know I'm not making it look as neat as I usually would. But, like, I don't really need to. Usually I'd have it in, like, a perfect little shapes and all that. But, like, I'm not upgrading them, so that doesn't really matter. Now, for the f main formicarium, that is fairly important. But for this one, nah. Okay, go murder them, then we're gonna crack this open for a bit of a shortcut. Yeah, they look very dead. It's a little glitchy. Ooh, I'm gonna see how much health a wood louse has, just cause I can now. What are we looking at? 70 health? And then they get... their defense up, I guess. Does this say how much food they're worth? Yeah, yeah, resource value. This stuff is cool. Can I click on stuff that I haven't opened yet? No? I have to click on, like, after I'd probably already be fighting them. Okay. Well, that's interesting. I wish I could have it, like, 
up here or something out of the way, but it's kind of like right in the middle almost. A little weird, but it's fine. Let's see. I'm just gonna just dig a <laughs> hole straight through. Shut up. Uh, straight through this, you know. I guess we can come in from the bottom. Get a little closer. There are intruders in the nest. Oh no, not like I opened up some intruders that are in the nest. Weird. Hmm. Why did they all go up that way? That was weird. Y'all gonna turn around yet? No? Okay, y'all aren't, I guess. I mean, if you get to them, you get to them. As long as they die. Oh, if they're going for the surprise attack. They totally knew that that was a thing. Mm -hmm. My ants are just smart like that, you know? They're just, they're just too good, you know? Cannot be defeated. We got we got more up here. Anyway, just get those open. Then we're gonna, so we'll go up here. See, all this is just build worker or build soldier. Grab food, kill thing, build more soldier. Very simple. Or this level. That's just this level though. I like the game. It's fun. There are you intruders get in the nest. You get different types. But you only get a soldier to start with, so it's just like, what else do I do? Unless I wanted workers to do stuff faster, I guess, but that's not really important. I would be if I was on a time crunch, but I'm really not, so... You know? Just, just let them do their thing. I could open this right now. See, if I'd done this on hard, this would have one of these things in it, which wouldn't be a bad thing, really. I do want to know how much food they give since they turned down the other ones, you know? That's a lot more than I remember. Let me see if I can sneak around there. And then I'm gonna go kill them anyways, you know. I had to kill everything anyways, so might as well. Why is the whole goal of this thing just kill everything? Like Predators are loose in the nest. Okay, the that, didn't, that didn't go protected. how I was hoping. Should be fine though. That's where all my soldiers are though. Eh, we got distractions. Good distractions. Oh no. Oh no. He is dead dead. He got ganged on by like 30 of them. At once. They made him bite the curb. <laughs> anyway, back to food. And that's just gonna be more wood louse, I think. Yeah, no problem. Oh no, it's those ones. That's why I thought it was something else. Okay, they're just. Those two workers are just gonna massacre for a minute, I guess. Yeah, they really are gonna do that, huh? Oh well. Sucks for those things, I guess. Get a whole bunch of things in there to grab all the food that's left here. In the meantime, I'm just gonna... Yeah, I like whenever I get the shooty ants. I always go with the mortars, because I just find them to be really good for damage. Oh, uh, it's kind of like uh, having a... Having like a sniper rifle in the back of sorts, instead of like an assault rifle. If you think of it like that. Which, you know... I mean... I guess most people would probably prefer the, an assault rifle over a sniper whenever the range is about the same. But I just find mortars to do like way more damage and you get a decent amount of them, it just demolishes everything. So I think I usually go for extra royal jelly, which I'm probably gonna do again, but you know. Crack them open. There we go. So yeah, that's already filled in, that was quick. Predators are loose in the nest. Ain't no the larvae way. Must be How could I possibly have known that? <clears throat> so 
Dude, like, three people are gonna get sent back carrying food. Or ants, I guess. And then there's all of these that are still here, you know? Which I could, I guess, technically upgrade them, but, like, there's not really a point if I just have this many of them. Like, unless numbers start becoming a problem, there's no reason to upgrade them. Predators are loose in the nest. If you have the food but not the, the larvae space, must be upgrading, protected. upgrade them, you know? That's good. But if you have all the space you could possibly ever need, just get more numbers, why not? Unless they take out, like, a whole bunch at once. You know, like a big, like, splice or something. That could be an issue. Let's see, and it's all gone. Just, just all the food, gone. He yoinked. It has been yoinked. Now upgrading food storage is definitely good. You, want, you don't want to take up all your space that you could the be using for all those ants I was talking about earlier. <laughs> so if you just upgrade those like once, twice, you know, easy. You just kind of do it. And then you have a whole lot of space. See, look at that. You probably have like a thousand by the time they're all upgraded. Maybe actually more. Just put them right here. Open both of these. Then there's like the main one, you know, up here with the two big ones. That's where numbers are a problem because they just kind of spray and then poison them all. But they don't instantly die from the poison, so it's not actually. There are intruders in the nest. I'm just gonna let them all converge on this little army here. Yeah, okay, they're all dead. Those ones up there? Dead, anyways. Didn't even have to send them up there. And then there's these, I guess. Got food there and there. I'm just, it's just because I can, I'm just gonna... They have the f available food, so might as well, right? I mean, I just got a whole lot anyways. See, look at all that. Normally that'd be a whole lot more because the things were worth more, but you know. It is what it is. It's all gone. Workers, get up here. Um, we're gonna finish the level. The quicker you get up here, the quicker we're finishing this level, so... This should get us a pretty decent chunk of food for the main formicarium. There are intruders in the nest. It says that every single time I open something like the answer that. No, into really? The path it's not of a like I opened it or anything. Devil's coach oh, horse beetle, and it's hungry for breakfast. Okay, the beetle well. is almost four times the size of a black ant and protected by thick plates of external armor. Whilst it bites at the tiny defenders, it sprays foul-smelling secretions from the end of its raised abdomen, disorientating the ants. Okay, so it has 500 health, which... decent. The Devil's Coach Horse is dead. Its corpse will provide food to support um, dozens of people. There the... Yeah, they're worth so little. They used to be worth a hundred! This Formica Fusca colony has weak, now established man. itself as a rising power in the undergrowth. Soon their territory will need to expand uh, yeah, above ground, where like new challenges await. Well, that was easy. What did I get? Achievements? Quantity? Oh, yeah. Forgot that that's an achievement. What's the Stand your ground. New home on extreme without letting any enemies within three tiles of the queen. Interesting. Speedy setup. Within 17... I... I could have sworn I did this under... 17 minutes. Oh, it's on hard. That's why. I didn't read all of it. Picky eater? With the last ten tunneled out creatures being wood lice. Oh, okay, so just don't use as much food. Is that on hard? Oh, on impossible, okay. <laughs> that might be an actual challenge. I'm not gonna try it, but you, it could have been. Okay. How is Colony progressing? The Queen is exhibiting interest in get up again? I believe oh, I don't think I have it open. To Yeah, that would make sense. Then we get our black ants, I guess. Yeah, might as well grab them. I'll upgrade that after... The second one in this too. It's all red. Ah, okay, this is the new ant. Medics. Okay. You can drag the dead ants back and fix them? I would assume that would mean you don't have to use extra food to respawn them? Maybe? There's the fire ants, of course. That's cool. Then leaf cutters. So yeah, that just keep that keeps going up. Wow, okay. 
So that's some cool new stuff to look at. Uh, I'm just gonna grab this real quick. Uh, I will uh, get this colony set up probably between um, videos, maybe. Actually, I got a lot of space here. This is where I usually would put a group of workers because, well, they're right by the queen, so that's kind of convenient, you know? I don't need a ton of space for them. So yeah, I'm just gonna put, we'll put this in here. Don't have the food. Okay, the and then the food storage up here. Perfect. We will soon have a thriving colony. I sent. I, I clicked my thing out there. I just realized I don't have anything in that group to go get a whoopsie. Yeah, this is just efficient. You know, use all the space you you can. It does make your ants a little slower, I think, when they're walking on it, but that's not usually an issue. So, I'm not gonna worry about it. Go ahead and tell them to go do this. Get this food, and then I'm gonna make more storage for it. Wish I could use my arrow keys, but for some reason they're being weird, so I've been using them with the mouse, if you couldn't tell. Usually I'd use the arrow keys, though. It, should, it just feels better. Can you use- oh wait, no, this is arrow keys, which they're also laggy, it's keyboard inputs that are laggy. Odd, but okay. So it's not my WASD, because you can just use that instead. It's something else, I guess, I don't know. Hmm. There we go. Now see, this is where you make stuff look kind of nice, you know. Make sure everything's how you need it to be. And a good strategy I like to use for that is um, when you're digging it out, instead of just going like that and going out, just leave it undiscovered of sorts. So then you can work around that, see? So then you have your space to do the things. You see, I can make something like this. Which you see of territory. That's how much spaces you can dig up out of all this. And then you open it up, and then they'll start going at it. Digging, you know, getting that stuff out of there. And that's going to be space for some soldier ants later on. Just going to make more workers. They'll speed up the process. And what are these? Oh, right, yeah, just some little worms. No. Nah. There's some cool little stuff if you look at the edge. Hey, wait a minute. If you look around the edges, you can see some little things. You can't read that, it's a little blurry. Breathable, waterproof, medical mask. Okay. Some cool little things. I don't know why they need medical masks for working with ants. Maybe do surgery on them or something, I don't know. Anyways, we got all our workers. And we got all our food. Okay, I'm gonna send these guys back, let these guys get to work making these. Here's gonna be... And also, something I like to do, I like to put um, one ant of whatever I'm choosing to have in a chamber. Just in that chamber, so that I can know exactly what I'm gonna be planning on doing in there. So if I get off and then get back on later on, you know? It's just kinda helpful. But yeah, this is basically a lot of what this is. Even There's obviously the first gonna be new stuff later on. Finally, we have the opportunity to observe multiple Possibly the final experiment. Rio's colony again. The final experiment. Passage of time. Real final experiment. New game plus one. See, so I haven't seen any of this stuff up here in this. So this is all new to me. Like, the most I've played up to, I think, is probably here. So I know I've played these two, and I probably would have done the thing after it, just on my own. Unless I did it in a video. I don't- I do not recall that. If y'all have any idea, just say something in the comments, I don't know. If you- if you go check. I might check it after this, but I can't remember. So, I'm not gonna worry about it then. This got like, what, 2,000 food from that, I think? So this will be good. You can technically farm these- this thing if you want to. You could just do it repeatedly, and you get, um, diminishing returns, though, for doing it again. So if I do it again the same way, that's what I get instead. Unless I did it on, like, this or something. Which, it's still, it's still less. 
If you do challenge, what's challenge mode mean? First time re rewards available in challenge mode? Oh, okay, I think you have to choose that when you start. I might try that later if I need the extra stuff. Which I wouldn't hate having, but you know. It's not much though. But yeah, once you get all your ants set up, um, you just got your things. I just make little patterns like this until it's all filled in. Anyways, I'm probably going to cut it here uh, for this episode. Hope you all enjoyed uh, watching the um, Joystick Jester. I'm only here to give you all some laughs, you know? So I will be... Oh, wait, let me save this real quick. There we go. Yeah, it's all keyboard inputs. This is odd. Anyways, I will be seeing y'all in the next one. Hope you guys enjoy. Next we will be doing that other mission that you probably saw in the menu. I'm not sure what it was called, but that's what I plan on doing next. Of course we're doing it all in order, because that's just how it goes, you know? Well, I will see you guys in the next one. Hope y'all have enjoyed. <sighs> Bye.